this class we discuss about per unit change in voltage equals the ratio of change in reactive power q to the short circuit capacity of the load the approximate per unit voltage regulation for a series impedance carrying load current i is given as delta v is equal to ir cos pi by v plus r minus ix sin pi by v where v is the load voltage pi is the power factor angle plus i indicate inductive load that means it consumes reactive power minus i indicates capacity load that means it generates reactive power when ir cos pi by v is equal to ix sin pi by v voltage drop is zero that is delta v is equal to zero but it is not possible to achieve simultaneously both the power factor and the voltage regulation the power factor is unity in this condition the power factor is unity that is practically it is not possible so voltage regulation can be calculated by short circuit capacity we know that short circuit current isc is equal to short circuit apparent power divided by sending and voltage e voltage drop across series impedance is given by delta v is equal to r plus jx into p minus jq by v delta v is equal to pr minus j r q plus jx p plus qx by v separate the real and imaginary terms the real term is pr plus qx by v that is del v r del v r is equal to voltage drop due to the resistance imaginary term x p minus r q by v that is equal to del v x that is voltage drop due to the reactance therefore total voltage drop is equal to voltage drop due to the resistance plus voltage drop due to the reactance del v r plus j del v x if three phase short circuit is created at the load bus short circuit current isc is equal to e divided by short circuit impedance isc is equal to short circuit apparent power divided by e i substitute isc this e by is at sc short circuit impedance here i got short circuit apparent power is equal to e square by is at sc short circuit impedance is equal to r plus jx r is equal to modulus of z into cos pi sc x is equal to modulus of z into sin pi sc let e is equal to v short circuit apparent power is equal to v square by short circuit impedance i can write r is equal to z z is equal to v by i into cos pi sc into v divided by v that is equal to v square by v i into cos pi sc v i is a short circuit apparent power that is equal to v square into cos pi sc by short circuit apparent power that is equal to r similarly x is equal to v square into sin pi sc divided by short circuit apparent power now i substitute r and x value in the delta v r so delta v r is equal to pv into cos pi sc plus qv into sin pi sc divided by short circuit apparent power similarly del v s is equal to pv into sin pi sc minus qv into cos pi sc by short circuit apparent power again i write delta v is equal to v by short circuit apparent power into p into cos pi sc plus q into sin pi sc plus j into v by short circuit apparent power into p into sin pi sc minus q into cos pi sc or delta v by v is equal to 1 by short circuit apparent power is equal to sorry into p into cos pi sc plus q into sin pi sc plus j into 1 by short circuit apparent power into p into sin pi sc minus q into cos pi sc now i can write this is delta v r by v plus delta vx by v here delta vx does not affect the voltage magnitude and this gives phase shift to the voltage 
Hence we neglect it. I can write delta V by V is equal to delta VR by V plus J delta VX by V. We neglect the delta VX by V. Therefore delta V by V is equal to delta VR by V. Delta VR by V is equal to 1 by short circuit apparent power into P into cos pi SC plus Q into sin pi SC. This is equation 1. The equation 1 is not valid for real power P and reactive power K, Q. Therefore, delta VR by V is equal to 1 by short circuit apparent power into delta P into cos pi SC plus delta Q into sin pi SC. Here, delta P is a change in active power, delta Q is a change in reactive power. Delta P does not much affect the voltage, hence we neglect it. Therefore, delta Vr by V is equal to delta Q into sin pi SC by short circuit apparent power. Sin pi SC is equal to turn inverse of X by R. X by R value is normally more than 4, then only sin pi s c is equal to 1 therefore delta v r by v is equal to del q by short circuit apparent power this means the periodic change in voltage equals the ratio of change in reactive power to the short circuit capacity of the load bus with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening